Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday around 1045 in Idaho Falls, and I've had a lot of you message me over the past 12 hours overnight and this morning asking about the judge's orders in the Lori Vallow case for the trial. And I wrote a story about this briefly yesterday on East Idaho News, and I just wanted to come on here because I know a lot of you really want to watch Lori's trial, which is set to begin on April 3rd. And um, it, there, there, are, there have been some changes, I guess I could say. Uh, the judge, Judge Boyce issued some orders yesterday governing courtroom conduct. The biggest change is that the, the trial will be broadcast from the Ada County Courthouse to the Madison County Courthouse. So if you're in Rexburg or Fremont County or anywhere and you want to go wa watch the trial in Madison County, you can. There will be a room in the Madison County Courthouse set up that you can go in and watch the trial. You can also go watch it in person in Ada County. And there in Ada County, you can watch it in the actual courtroom and there will be an overflow room. From what I understand, the courtroom is not that big. It's not huge. It doesn't fit hundreds of people. Um, and, and the judge is making this concession for the people that live in Madison and Fremont counties. There is still no live broadcast for everybody else. Uh, there is a live broadcast, but it's only to the courthouse in Madison County and only to the overflow room in the Ada County Courthouse. So there will be no live audio feed for the media that wants to get the live audio. Well, there's no live audio. If we want to get the audio, we wait until the end of the hearing each day, and then it's 25 cents a minute for the hearing. So they're charging to get the audio from this court case, and uh, we're going to get it for you, East Idaho News. We're going to provide it for you so that you can listen to it. Those of you that are interested in each day, there is just a cost associated with it. Um, there is no reserved seating in either courthouse. However, what it will be is the day before each, each day of the trial, you'll go online and you will um, click on a website and you will, be, you will make a reservation for a seat in each courtroom. And if the seats are full, they're full which is kind of a little uh, frustrating because I will be in Boise for all of it and I just hope I get a seat in the courtroom um, and to cover this. So there is no reserve seating for media. There's no reserve seating. The only reserve seating is for family members of victims, family members of the defendant, and then like court staff, court personnel. Uh, there is, there's several, uh, other ish, ever, several other points in these court orders about... Um, the public seating, everybody will have to go through security. Obviously, they will check up. They will check up on your bags and your backpacks to see what's in there. No cell phones are allowed at all. They have to be on silent or um, yeah, off. We are allowed to have laptops in there, so I can give you live updates as the trial is going on on Twitter. We'll be posting live updates on the on East Idaho News probably about every five minutes, so you can go to our website and and check on the updates for that. Um, there will be, uh, and the same rules apply to Madison County Courthouse and the Ada County Courthouse. If you go in, your phones have to be off. You're not allowed to have your phones on. Of course, no weapons. You can't interrupt things. You can't talk to people. You cannot approach the jurors at all and talk with them if you see them. Um, and if you violate any of these, you could be found in contempt of court and you could be removed from the courtroom. So those are kind of the rules. Um, I'm interested to see what happens when it gets underway. The timeline is that um, the last week of March, people that have received jury questionnaires in Ada County will show up at the courthouse each day, maybe a couple hundred, and turn in their questionnaires. That's gonna be closed to the media, that's gonna be private. So that will happen for a week. Then on April 3rd, they will, um, they will uh, put out the jury selection. The jury selection will actually begin on April 3rd. That'll probably take a week, three to four days. Then on April 10th, that is when the actual opening arguments will start. It, at least that's what I believe. It could start a little earlier, or if jury selection's not done by the 10th, it could start later. But I imagine that that's kind of a rough estimate. Now that Chad is not being tried with her, now that his attorney will not be in the room, uh, there's one less line of questioning that has to go through. So I don't think the trial is going to last all 10 weeks. Could be around five, maybe six. Um, no cameras allowed in. And that's, uh, you know, 
that's what the judge decided. I, 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 you know, have my own thoughts and opinions. I'm sure you know what they are, but um, we will, we will not be able to have a camera in there or still cameras either. We won't be able to get any pictures. So we are exploring the possibility of a sketch artist, and uh, that's what will, that's what will happen with that. Maybe, maybe on the sketch artist. Okay, so that's kind of where we stand. Now, if you want to read the orders governing courtroom conduct, uh, head over to East Idaho News. We have the links there. I mean, everybody that enters does have to abide by these courtroom conduct orders. And, if, <coughs> excuse me, if you are in Eastern Idaho and you don't want to make the trek all the way to Boise, you can still go into the courtroom in, Ada, in Madison County and watch it. Um, so that's what will happen. Yeah, I know a lot of you, that, that I, I, I have... Uh, covered other trials before where the media, you know, have seats. I'm not saying we should be given preferential treatment by any means, but we are there to represent you guys, the public. We're there to report, you know, to get this out. So I hope that there isn't any issues um, as far as the media getting seats, because that, you know, that that could be could be something that becomes an issue. Um, all right, there you go. There's the latest on that. Um, Working on some other angles for this story that we'll we'll have a bit later. By the way, the other the other uh, tomorrow there was a hearing scheduled in the case that has been postponed. That is now going to be next Wednesday. That could be the last hearing before this actually goes to trial, which is crazy, crazy enough uh, that this is finally coming to an end. But um, let me know if if you plan to be there. If you plan to be in Boise or in Madison County, would you plan to watch? Would you plan to watch a live feed if the judge opened it up to everyone? Regardless, every day I'm planning to do a recap, kind of like I'm doing with you right now, where I'll come on probably from my hotel room every night, maybe 10, 15 minutes, give you a rundown of what happened in court that day, maybe play some audio clips if we have them back from the court. Otherwise, I'll, you know, I'll try to keep you posted as best I can and and give you a rundown of what happened that day, and then you can ask uh, potential questions or or whatnot, and see see where it goes from there. All right, thank you all for watching. Appreciate your support. Take care.